Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create this isometric illustration of iPhone 8. So, and we're gonna do this in Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna show you one of the ways how we can do this using uh, this vector software. Uh, we're gonna use uh, 3D rotate and 3D extrude and bevel method. So, and if you enjoy it, of course, subscribe to my channel and give a thumb up. So let's start. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna delete all of this stuff and start with this mockup. You can download it on vitorials.net. This is a, an iPhone 8 Plus mockup as far as I know and I'm gonna simply unlock it first and move it here to, to my right. Then I'm gonna put it on the new layer and swap fill and stroke. With my fill selected, double click on this square and navigate to change a color to the gray. You can set any color, it's just one of my preference to work in gray when I prototype something. So it's gonna be our extrusion. And let's create another duplicate, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, to create another duplicate. I have this duplicate. Holding on this square, on the last panel, I'm gonna push this duplicate on the layer above, like so. And for this extrusion, I'm gonna click on this free space between Chevron icon and Airball to lock this layer, and then double click on the extrusion layer and name it let's say volume uh, sorry it's Russian again very nice let's go uh, further and with this layer it's gonna be our corpus we need to I'm gonna apply this gradient and basically this gradient let's go to the gradient panel if you can find it go to the windows gradient here or Ctrl F9, Command F9 on your Mac. So with this gradient I have on my right at the position of 100%, I have 100% white, so F, F, F. At the position of 0%, I have 6% gray. Now I'm gonna set it on this field and from this drop down, I'm gonna set 120 degrees and then swap fill and stroke. I'm sorry, and then reverse the gradient. So uh, my darker color should be on top and white color on bottom. So, uh, so far so good, uh, but before we go any further, guys. 3D effect doesn't support the gradients at all, so all of our gradient will be rasterized. To prevent this from happening, I advise you to all of our gradients save as a swatch. And for more convenience, I advise you also to use this uh, little icon to click on this chevron right in the middle of the uh, bottom navigation of uh, swatches panel. Choose this option, show gradient swatches. So the only gradient swatches are shown for me. And I'm gonna create a new swatch. Give it any name, I'm typing iPhone. So let's go and next we have the screen. And the screen is a simple rectangle with the width of 346 pixels and height of 606 pixels. I'm going to duplicate it as well and then uh, move it to the new layer like so. So uh, for this uh, my iPhone I'm going to apply the solid color of course. So for my screen what I'm going to do for my screen I have this very nice screen gradient it's a simple two color liner gradient and let's start with this left gradient stop. 
I have this color here FFDB55 and on my right stop color I have this FF8FAD. Click OK. Now we need to change a bit uh, an angle of this gradient to 120 degrees and leave it. So uh, again, select, create a new swatch, name it as screen. I'm gonna name it as screen one because I already have screen. And then also convert it to the solid layer, uh, solid column, sorry. Next, I am gonna duplicate this button. It's a simple circle with a width and height of 50 pixels. I'm gonna grab this button, duplicate this button from my mockup and push it on the new layer. And for this button, again, uh, I'm gonna apply the gradient from my iPhone, that called iPhone. So uh, I don't really want to uh, apply it now because I just simply want to select a very light gray color, F2, 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 very nice, and probably create a larger button as well. So create a duplicate on the back, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, or Command C, Command B on your mark, and then beef it up a bit and and using this fill color picker, change the hue so we can easily separate these two objects. What next? I'm gonna create a duplicate of this layer the, from my screen. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, paste it on top and push it on the new layer. Apply the screen gradient, again, changing the angle to 100 degrees. And here I want to create very simple graphic so in previous version i had a simple geometric landscape and now i want to simply create some abstract artwork so i'm gonna start with the solid colors then i'm gonna push my uh, color picker to this orangey color make it a bit more bright and more saturated click ok then i'm gonna draw a line with this line selected i'm gonna apply the stroke set the stroke to two points push the color to black so i can easily distinguish my line holding alt and shift key or option on sh and shift key on your mac Create a duplicate, then Ctrl D, Command D to make dozens of your lines. So looks good. Now select your circle and all of the lines. Go to Shift Build the tool, or click Shift M, and select all of these sectors. Delete the necessary lines. From each side, select every every even sector and change the color to a bit more less saturated, more lighter, like so. You can play again. You can make something like that. So, guys, I don't want to spend too much time to the graphic because I need to pay more attention to the colors or possibly apply some gradients so uh, you can play uh, and put here whatever you want okay and of course don't forget to show me your final result on Twitter or Instagram so let's go on we have all required elements and we need to head on to our 3D effects. So how to do that, guys? All we need to do is select all the layers. So select everything except volume layer. And go to the effect, 
rotate and from this rotate dialog box set the from the drop down position drop down on top set the value of isometric right let's preview this so we have an isometric projection and uh, click ok so let's place a button on proper position so now it's time to add some extrusion to our art book so select all these layers that we have just modified and lock them and unlock the volume layer this layer for volume for the extrusion and of course we need we need to navigate to effect 3d and instead of rotating this uh, layer we need to extrude in bevel again set the isometric to isometric light set the extrude depth to 25 check preview and click ok so far so good uh, probably i need to go to a and change the surface because now it's plastic shading and i want to change it to no shading at all so head on to the windows appearance and from this open dialog box navigate to the surface drop down so select all of the objects and go to the expand appearance object expand appearance expand it again expand appearance so and now that we have these regular adobe illustrator shapes and we can finally modify the colors and give it appearance we really want so grab this object on the volume layer and align it with other elements use your right mouse button context menu and ungroup it and ungroup it run it uh, several times until the ungroup option is no longer viable for you so on our volume layer we have a lots of particles that comprise it this side panel of our phone we need to combine them using pathfinder so head on to your pathfinder panel if you can find it go to the windows pathfinder and click on the first icon to unite your particles and apply color to this solid color make it a bit darker bam okay now go to the screen again i group it several times release the clipping mask delete a bunch of stuff that you don't uh, need push this button to the top ungroup fire up several times I release the clipping mask with the clipping mask selected delete all the clipping passes ungroup unnecessary groups again here ungroup then release clipping mask delete clipping pass delete clipping pass here release unnecessary groups so it's time to play with the gradient so head on to the swatches panel and grab all the needed gradients and apply the screen to screen layer iphone to iphone and so on and so forth So what we gonna do with our abstract artwork layer? First of all, we need to push it a bit to the top right. And I said has a hole. This screen has a hole. So we need to apply the same screen gradient from our swatches to this object. Again, guys, Adobe Illustrator's swatches save values of colors but not an angle so you can change an angle of your colors here on the gradient panel we need to apply a 120 degrees and what next i'm gonna do 
because this gradient is in front and this gradient on the back I'm gonna select the screen that is sitting inside my form go to the recolor artwork and make it uh, make it darker so I reduce the brightness or pull the saturation it doesn't matter I'm gonna pull the saturation a bit so very nice let's go further and further we have we have a body of our iPhone on the iPhone layer and we need to make a duplicate with Ctrl C Ctrl F then head on to the layers panel and create a new layer grab this duplicate and place it on the new layer and then nudge this layer down on the layers panel even below the volume layer so it's behind our sides and behind the body of iPhone. Go to transparency and reduce the opacity to around let's say 30%. Then move move it again holding Alt and Shift to move it at the angle of 45 degrees so we constrain this angle. So we have two of these guys and we need to cover our entire artboard with rectangle looks very nice but i'm gonna control shift left bracket command shift left bracket to arrange it to the back and for this rectangle i have this background gradient this is basically again two color gradient first of this color has a position of 25 it's red color E6 to 6 to 5 and second has a position of 100% uh, and have FF AA00 and again we need to change uh, the gradient angle to 120 degrees and then reverse the gradient guys this is basically all you need to create this wonderful illustration and last but not least you need to place text Thank you for watching, arrange a bit, change, change the position of your uh, isometric illustration and enjoy your artwork. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Have a nice day.